Wow, baby, what a fantastic Halloween costume. Pumpkin cat. To recreate this drag-inspired eye, I'm going to start off by using the NYX White Eyeshadow Base. I'm going to put that all over my lid and bring it up to my brow bone and set that with a powder. I'm next I'm going to go in with a black gel eyeliner just to shape out the cut crease. I'm going to just mimic the shape that I created on my other eye. I also dragged that underneath my bottom lash line and now I'm just going in with a little bit more of the gel liner and a clean brush just to blend it out and buff it in a little bit. And one more time with that gel liner to define it. For the adhesive, I'm using Duo Lash Glue. You can totally use latex as well. And the glitter I'm gonna be using is a MAC glitter. It's a pretty fine glitter. I'm applying a little bit of adhesive and applying the glitter right on top of that. I am working in smaller sections just because I know the working time I have with this adhesive and it isn't very long. I also find that if I work in small sections like this, I have more control of where the glitter is going to go. I did put the glitter right to my lash line. In hindsight, I don't think that I would do this again, just because once all of the glitter was adhered and there was a little bit of a layer on my eyelid, the gel liner was a little bit difficult to apply on. As you can see here, it didn't go on super, super smooth. I kind of had to work with it a little bit. I brought that gel eyeliner underneath my eye in a very dramatic and big shape. This kind of creates the illusion that your eye is a little bit bigger. Now I'm going on in with my Mayron palette. I'm using this gray and this is going to be the shade I'm buffing out my cut crease with. I'm continuously blending that out and then I'm going back in one more time, one last time with that gel eyeliner. I didn't think this was very like crisp and black so I actually followed that line up with a liquid eyeliner. I wiped away any glitter fallout and I filled in my brows with the Anastasia Dip Brow in Ebony. I also wanted the line underneath my eyebrows to be a little bit crisper so I went back in with that white eyeshadow base. I also worked a little bit of that in underneath my lower lash line and in my waterline. I put it wherever there was negative space where the black wasn't just to create that kind of like drag eye look and make it look like my eye was so much bigger than it was. And because that is a cream, I am gonna be setting that with a matte white eyeshadow. For my complexion, I'm going to be going in with the NYX HD Studio <laughs> Primer. This primer has a lot of pigment to it because it looks fantastic on film. So I'm just buffing that in my skin and then also down my neck because this I'm going to be placing product on there so I need to prime it. For foundation, I'm using my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. If you're wondering, it is in the shade 42. I am leaving the space around my mouth and down the center of my neck open just because there's it's not necessary to put product there because it's going to be covered with you know our, our makeup that we're going to be doing anyway. For around the makeup that I already had done on my face, I just went in with a little bit more of a detail brush just to crisp that out. And for a little bit of contouring, I've never even used this palette before, but I thought, mm, why not? Let's go for it. So I'm going in with this color. I will admit this color is a little bit orange, but this is a drag makeup and the contour is going to be very heavy. So don't worry about it. I'm going to cool it down in a little bit. I applied this on all of the negative, or not negative, but the the shadows of my face as a little contour. This is a very intense contour and I'm also doing a lot down my nose too because I mean, when in Rome, you know, it's Halloween, have fun. I buffed that out with my Beauty Blender and I'm going in with the Celebre Loose Finishing Powder. This is in the shade Light Medium. This is such a finely milled powder. I have dry skin and when I use this powder, it doesn't make me look any drier. It kind of just sets my cream foundations and I look, I feel like I look still like a human being. This is the first time I'm using the NYX Contour Palette and I'm so excited. I'm gonna be focusing mainly on these two lighter and cooler shades just to cool down my face a little bit and oh my god these are so pigmented and I'm so happy I have this I'm gonna be using this in way more tutorials I'm just buffing that in on all of the spaces where I already put that cream 
The blush I'm using is by Illamasqua. I love this blush. It's a beautiful baby bright pink and I feel like a princess when I have it on. I need to use this blush more. And I'm obviously using my Mary Luminizer by The Balm as a highlight. I'm applying my favorite mascara, giving my upper lashes a good coat. I'm leaving my bottom lashes blank. Now for the mouth, the part we've been waiting for. I'm mainly freestyling this. Um, this is inspired by Pearl, obviously. The one I'm using for this is just a random eyebrow pencil by Laura Mercier that I never use. It's light enough that I can cover it with, but it's not too dark that I can't fix or erase it. I'm just shaping out the mouth shape and I'm, I'm going in, fixing it up, tidying it up, making it a little bit bigger, making it a little bit smaller. There isn't too much direction when it comes to this. You can kind of draw it however you want and create a mouth shape that you want. You can totally do anything. Um, I will say that you do want the teeth to line up with your bottom jaw just because that's gonna make it really look like the illusion that it is. And I think that that, that is really what makes it look so cool. Like the mouth is actually open because you can kind of like move your, your chin and it looks real. For the bottom teeth, I just, put them on my chest, drew them out a little bit, trying to make them as even as possible. For the tongue, I drew it in there, and then I also drew like the throat hole as well. I'm gonna be going in with the same blush I used and powdering that over top of my tongue and the back of my throat. I'm using powder just because this is so easy and this powder is so pigmented. You can totally use a face paint, a cream, a body paint, doesn't matter. Find what works for you and use it. Now I'm gonna be going back into that palette using the black and I'm gonna add a little bit of shape to it, a little bit of shading just to make it, kinda of like push it back and make it look like a shadow and as though a mouth is open on my neck. Sticking to the powder theme, I'm using a MAC Loose Pigment. Again, you can use whatever works for you, but look how beautifully this blends out. On top of that primer, it's just seamless. And this, honestly, it looks like a cream. So I'm using a powder. You can totally use whatever you want. Like I said, I'm just filling in the lips. So this is my official lip color for the day. <laughs> I think that this is a beautiful shade. You can totally use red, purple, whatever color you want. And obviously since these are lips, we want them to look a little bit 3D instead of like, well, yeah, like not, I don't want it to look flat. I want there to be a little bit of dimension. So I'm adding in a little bit of the black there just around the edges. If you're wondering about shading and how to make something look 3D, the edge of something is gonna be the darkest and where it protrudes the most is where it's gonna be lightest. Kind of think of contouring, where your face protrudes the most is where you're gonna have the high points, you know, your cheekbones, your nose. Same with this, the lips, the part that protrudes the most is gonna be the lightest, so you're not gonna be placing any shading there, only around the edges. The angle of the shading was like next level hard, so I just like went for it, and it's a little bit messy, but I'm gonna clean it up after. This was just the easiest way for me to do this. Once I was a mess, I cleaned it up with a baby wipe with a little bit of makeup remover and created a nice sharp line. For the definition, I'm using the MAC Black Acrylic Paint. You can use this MAC Black Acrylic Paint. It's not like paint that you're gonna go take and do a craft outside with. It's safe for your body. It's safe to put on your, I think it's safe to put on your face, but you can for sure put it on your body. I'm also taking a little bit of foundation just to really clean up those lines and make it look very striking and just very clean. So I mapped out all over this design and I also mapped out the teeth, but I didn't put the teeth lines in yet because I'm going to be doing that next to last. I am just marking it out on the bottom and marking out the teeth, the tongue, the like back of the throat area, making that all black.
For the teeth, I did do one side already. I'm using the Macrylic Paint in white. I love this and I chose to use this over the Jumbo Pencil in Milk or uh, just an eyeshadow or something just because I don't need to powder this. This is just so opaque, so pigmented. It's the easiest thing and the easier the better on Halloween. Um, just look at this, like it goes on so easy. Like, I die. I just kept working in that white and to actually define the teeth I just took the black acrylic paint again and I kind of drew them on in sort of like a swirl like not a swirl but a C shape just to make it look like more of an illusion and kind of make it look like a little bit more 3D And because you know I love glitter and I love this thing, this is a roll-on shimmer in platinum. I added that on every tooth and I'm not sure if it picks it up as much on camera, but in real life, like the teeth were shining, they were glowing, like literally the brightest smile in the whole world. You can see I already applied pretty dramatic lashes on one eye and I'm going to be applying them on the other eye using Duo Lash Adhesive. These lashes are pretty dramatic and I'm not sure if they're sold anymore. Um, they were NYX lashes, but I don't know if they're sold still. On the top, I applied a pretty dramatic lash and on the bottom, I applied a little bit more of a piecier one. And now I officially look like I belong in the circus. Oh my God, I love it. I'm in love with it. All right, so I'm adding a little bit more of a black liquid liner on top of my lashes just to hide the lash glue a little bit because you know I don't like to see the lash glue. I just picked this random glitter up at Dollarama. It was $1.50 and I'm gonna be applying it with some clear latex. You totally use lash glue for this as well. I'm just applying the latex with a sponge. I'm doing it in a pretty big section just because I know my working time with this latex and it takes a little bit of a while to dry so I'm applying that with a sponge and then for this I started using my fingers to actually apply the glitter I literally got glitter everywhere I didn't know the best way to apply this but I was applying the glitter only in the center of the lips just to give the lips a little bit more more of something to look at something to tantalize your eyes and it almost creates the illusion that like the lipstick is either like glossy or glittery I think it looks so cool That was it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any more Halloween requests or any requests at all, leave them in the comments down below. I thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and like this video and I will see you in my next one.